so just stay right here. From the mountain so I have a video idea for tomorrow, which is when this video is going up. And I just got a question. Will you ever switch to Sony? I replied, I'm a Canon fanboy. And I also got a suggestion to make a behind the scenes video on how you make your videos. So we're gonna combine that into one. What's going on guys, today we're back in the video and today I hope you guys are smiling, hope you're having a good day. Oh, today I'm gonna break down my editing. Okay, so if we open Premiere Pro, we're going to Insta Drone Edit. I'll show you guys how I did a few of the transitions in the version 2 that you guys did not see unless you're following me on Instagram. I had it, it got taken down. I'll put the screenshot right there. It got taken down. I love it so much. Okay, so if we open Premiere Pro and look at the... I lost it! Oh my god! Okay, so if we open Premiere Pro and look at the version 2 of the Mavic Mini 2 edit that I made, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, it will be right here. So, essentially, it got taken down before. I found a non-copyrighted song that I liked. Shout out Zach Greer. It's called Melatonin. Link will be right here. We look at the way the all this audio is stacked. If we mute this audio track... There's definitely not as much sound design, uh, sound design as I would put in a bigger video. It's just a simple Instagram edit, so this isn't like the epitome of my editing. Um, but there's still a lot of sound effects. There's a swoop there. Two different swoops put together. A glitch. I get all of the, a lot of these, not all. I get a lot of these from this pack right here. Um, this sound effects pack I could have put a lot of sound effects in between every transition but I didn't want to like water it down with the sound effects I wish I would have put one there uh, that's a glitch to make the film if you look at this film overlay it only goes for so long that's my first time in a while using film overlays I used to use them quite a bit in just like my personal work not even the stuff that's on YouTube uh, right here I have a screen recording from when I was making this transition, and uh, it's in this video. That's the full editing breakdown of this video. And it, it all times up with the music. Like this cut. Like the ultimate reveal, like if you look at this uh, speed ramp, it's right on this hit. All this is through audio. Forms. So this one hits right there. Right there on that guitar riff hit. Right there. But I'm gonna show you how I fully, fully make them. Okay, so back to the reasons why I shoot Canon. I I shoot Canon because of Canon color. The examples are up on the screen right now. They look great. Another reason is autofocus. I'm looking at the point right now that's tracking my eye. It's not like Sony's autofocus where it like jars back and forth. This camera only does that in low light. But to fully answer the question, Canon would have to make a very stupid move for me to switch to Sony. Or Sony has to make a crazy camera for videography and photography. That's how I answered it in the comment. Sony's line is just too divided in between photography and videography. Canon makes a good blend. I sold my M50 because of the grain. Really, that's the only reason why I sold it. Also, lens selection. Don't get an M mount camera. I mean, they're all right cameras, but autofocus don't work too well when you've adapted lenses. Another reason is Canon's lens options, especially for the RF mount. I can use RF lenses like this 50 millimeter F1.8. I have a 24 to 105 RF, and then I have this. This is my main vlogging lens. This is a very underrated lens. The 17 to 40 F4L. Probably the cheapest L lens you can get. 
like 300 400 bucks with the adapter 500 uh compared to the rf equivalent which is the 15 to 35 that's like that's like two and a half thousand us so this is a lot cheaper and you get a very similar look the only difference is that it doesn't have image stabilization and that it's f4 instead of f2.8 i didn't know all this was gonna happen this night so i'll fast forward to my night <laughs> well, the drone just disconnected from the controller. What do we have? Uh, a gimbal snap and uh, a cracked body shell. So, we gotta set it in the DJI because this shit is completely broken. I'm gonna FaceTime Ricky. Oh my god. The drone just disconnected from the controller, it was in the air. It's so broken. This top part's broken. The battery door won't close. It disconnected. Oh my God. This is under my warranty though, because it disconnected from the controller. Oh my God, this sets back this review so far. I wasn't recording on the drone either, because I just stopped recording and that's when the thing, that's when the controller disconnected. I think that If the ribbon cable wasn't broken, then I could completely fix this myself. But just because the ribbon cable's broken, I can't fix it myself. It's a cracked body panel here, and then a rubber piece. Oh, never mind, the whole inside's broken. <laughs> oh no, never mind, the door shuts. I would try to fly it, but there's the gimbal.